Okay, so ice tables, super easy. Um, this is probably one of the questions that gave me the most trouble for my first general chemistry two uh, exam uh, one. So I will post the uh, question for this in the info and then you can follow along here. And this is my first video um, of explaining stuff, so bear with me here. <laughs> so we start with uh, this equation here and uh, I like to write that equation at the top and then next uh, you just write the information that you're given. So in this case they give us Kc equals 0.141. So I like to write that in the middle there because that's the equilibrium constant. And then they tell us that, uh, let's see, your chlorine has a 0 0.03 molarity. So 0 0.03 molarity. And bromine monochloride has a 0 0.02 molarity. 0 0.02 molarity. So remember, molarity is moles over liters. Don't confuse that. Um, and then it doesn't tell you the liters here, so we can just assume it's just one liter. So I guess this will the 0 0.03 will actually also be moles. But uh, so anyway, um, next, so the the ice table we do I C E. Uh, that's initial change and equilibrium. So. I like to do this little double line thing here. All right, so basically first you just look at the coefficient of each of these. This one has uh, two, so I'll put two x. This one has one, so just one x and one x. And now the initials, they gave it to us. Initials just drop down from here, 0 0.02 molarity. Um, and then this one, since they didn't give it to us, we'll put zero for the initial. And this part right here gave me some trouble, and I had to look up videos on my own to find this out. Um, but all the positive x's are going to be on the zero side. So this whole side is going to be positive x's. So that means this side is going to be the negative. All right, so then you just drop this down. So 0 0.03 plus x and 0 plus x, that's just x, and 0 0.02 minus to x. Alright, so there's the uh, ice table. So next, um, ultimately in this question, at the end of the question you'll see that we're trying to find the equilibrium concentration of bromine, which is here. So I like to make a big circle there so I don't forget that that's what I'm trying to find. Because um, sometimes you'll end up finding the x value and you're trying to find this thing and then you have to plug everything back in there. But no, we're just trying to find this little x here. So, next we will do the Kc equals, and you'll remember this as the mass action uh, equation where you put the products over the reactants. Um, so in this case we have Br2 and then you have Cl2, that's the products, and now we do the reactants, which is uh, Br2. Cl, right? But then also, look, there's a coefficient of two, so we're gonna put, we're gonna square all that right there. Easy enough. Next, we are going to do, we're gonna plug in all of these values here, here, and here into these brackets. Easy enough, right? So, uh, let's see here. Br2 is just x. And then Cl2 is, oops, sorry, Cl2 is 0 0.03 plus x. And then uh, the bottom we have BrCl2, so BrCl2 right here, 0 0.02 minus 2x. 0 0.02 minus 2x. And don't forget that that one is squared because. Uh, the coefficient that was here and here, so it is squared. All right, next it's basically uh, just math from here on out. So I'll just follow along with what I got. I already calculated this earlier, so I'm not just some super math genius. So again, Kc is 0.14, oops, sorry. Kc is 0.141 right here. 
So we'll plug that 0.141 equals, uh, let's math this out, 0.03x plus x squared, and then oh, 0.02 minus 2x, 0.02 minus 2x. That comes out to be 4x squared, uh, 0.004 positive, and then negative 0.08x. All right, so that put, that goes down to here, 4x squared minus 0.08x plus 0.0004. All right, so now we keep mathing it out. Um, so that comes out to point, we, we multiply the denominator here with the uh, this value over here. So 0.564x squared minus 0.01128x plus 5.64 times 10 to the negative 5. I like putting the e because that's what I put in my calculator. Equals the top that we have left over, 03x plus x squared. All right, next we will subtract these, or add these, or subtract them over to here. And that gives us a negative 0.36x squared because we subtracted the x squared. And then we're gonna subtract off the 0.03x. So that comes out to 0.04128x plus we're still we still have 5.64 times 10 to the negative 5 equals 0. All right, so what does this look like? That is right, it is a quadratic. So um, I already did this, put this through the quadratic formula, and the value that makes sense is 1.3 times 10 to the negative 3. All right, and that is going to be in molarity because up here we had molarity, molarity, x's are also in molarity. So also make sure that you know what you end up in, in units wise. Uh, sometimes you can do moles in this whole ice table, but I just did molarity here. Um, a key thing to remember is that the positive x's always go on the zero side. Don't forget that because that gave me a little problem while I was studying this. So yeah, that is it. Thanks for listening.